Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I went to a local match this weekend and I decided to shoot the production class in USPSA. In the production class, I like using this Glock 34. At this event, the targets were 35 and 40 yards away, which is pretty far distance for a indoor production match. I, when I purchased this Glock about two years ago. Uh, at the time, you know, the guy said it was fairly new, said he fired uh, probably half a box of shells through it, and I could believe it at the time because it was in great shape. He also said he, he changed the sights out uh, to these Dawson fiber optic sights. Now, I don't know if they are the Dawson fiber optic sights, but they look very similar to the Dawson fiber optic sights, so I can only say that he was probably correct. That's what he changed them to. Since that time, I've taken this gun out and I've used it in three gun matches and I've shot it just, you know, playing around here at the house and, you know, a couple of local matches, but not too extensively, but I've shot it quite a bit. Uh, if you all will go back and watch the Glock video on there, you know, just to that one video alone, I think we went through 250 rounds, 300 rounds. So that's been shot quite a bit. Uh, but in all the shooting, I've always noticed that it's shot high. You know, over here at the house, I was getting consistently, you know, one inch high at 10 yards. But when I went to this local match, I figured, well, it was no big deal shooting that, you know, I'll just aim a more of a six o'clock hold. Okay, but out there to those 35 and 40 yard distances, this thing was almost shooting, uh, you know, almost a foot high, you know, if not a complete foot high. So, you know, that kind of upset me. So when I came home, I thought, well, heck, I'm gonna go ahead and change those sights out. So I ordered some new sights. Well, in the process of ordering these new sights, I also decided that I wanted to go ahead and try a new barrel. And the barrel that I opted to go for is from Wilson Combat. This is a match grade barrel for, it's a nine millimeter, made for the Glock 34. I don't know if you all can see that, but it's 5.32 inches long and it's stainless. In production class firearms, you can change, make certain changes and there's certain changes you can't make. But you can change out the barrel in a production class gun as long as it is the same diameter and the same barrel. You know, you can't go from a 40 to nine barrel and do it, but you, as long as it's the same caliber, you can change them out. Okay, the Wilson Combat match grade barrel that I purchased Cost me around $200 with shipping and everything like that. I'm sure those prices will change, you know, the, the more we watch these videos, but the longer it takes. But this is a match grade barrel. It has a one in 16 inch twist. Okay, it's got highly polished feed ramps and internals. It's also a supported chamber. You know, on the, on the Glock barrels, they're a 9.84 twist and they have hexagonal rifling, and they're not recommended to shoot lead bullets through them. But with this Wilson barrel, you can shoot whatever bullets that you would like to shoot through it, from uh, full metal jackets to the lead. The Glock barrels, you know, do not have a supported chamber. Uh, so therefore, you can get some bulge on your case. You know, makes it, some people say that makes it diff more difficult to reload. I haven't found any problem with that, but so be it but it comes with a, a, this Wilson barrel comes with a supported chamber. Okay, it's made out of a 416 stainless, which is a real good, you know, long lasting stainless steel. It's been heat treated for maximum life. And Wilson Combat says, you know, with this particular barrel, you know, on their bench rest shooting with good quality ammo, they're getting half inch groups at 25 yards because of the high tolerances, you know, for this being a, a competition grade barrel. You know, on the Glock barrels, they're made for, you know, um, military use, police use. So, you know, they have a little less tolerances. That way you can use dirty ammo or ammo that you picked up off the ground and, you know, it's wet and it's nasty, it's filthy and it's muddy. That's why they make these Glocks, you know, such loose tolerances. But what that does do is makes them, you know, highly reliable. All right, so to change out the barrel, you know, they said that on the package, if we read the package here, it said it might require some minor gunsmithing. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take apart this clock. If I can do it on camera here. Okay. Pretty simple to take apart. They wanted to be kind of a pain in the butt there because it's on camera. 
but you can see that you know the barrels are very similar you know there's there's hardly any difference in them at all that you can see you know physically but this is a considered a match grade barrel this is a has looser tolerances okay when i bought this barrel it just slid right in you know it didn't require any modifications at all which is awesome it's great when things you buy just work okay slide it right onto the firearm i'm having problems here trying to do this in front of the camera okay so you can see it all goes together fits fine um it worked great you know the little bit of trials that i have done with it it shot excellent it was very reliable looks good in the gun you know it just and it did some great groups you know if it wasn't for my me pulling the <laughs> pulling the shot they would all been touching it it did a fine job with my reloads all right guys well there's a video on the wilson combat barrel go check out wilson combat if you think you need a new barrel for your glock all right guys appreciate you watching thanks okay we got the new barrel inside the glock this is the wilson combat barrel we're gonna test it out okay here we go we're gonna do our first test shots with the new barrel Up, I did that. All right, let's go up there and look at it. Okay, we're loaded up again. Now we're going to try it on steel. That's where the. That's the rest of the first mag. And one more mag. One more mag. Wow. New barrel seems to be working great. I think I'm going to like it. It definitely made it where it shot more on target. Uh, with the Glock barrel with these sights on here, it shot way high, especially the farther distance you got out. Uh, but right here, I'm almost aiming dead on, and they're right on. So 